Hello everybody! Today I am going to be sharing a little bit about my own editing and revising process with a little background on the project that I've been working on for the past year or so. If you watched my Camp NaNoWriMo vlogs from July and pretty much all of my recent videos, you know that it's the main thing that's been consuming my life right now. Is it healthy to focus singularly on one project for as long as I have? First off, I should give a little background about my project and the place that it's at. I wrote the very first draft for Camp NaNoWriMo in July of 2019, so pretty much just last year, and I've spent pretty much all of last year and this year revising it, so in terms of project age, it's about two years old. Is project age a thing? It's the third novel I've written in about three or four years, and the one that's most that's advanced the most to get to where I am now, in terms of the editing stages. Basically, my editing process is twofold. Once I make enough changes to the overarching plot and story and things I know don't make sense, I send the manuscript off to my critique partners. I take their feedback and I apply it directly to the project, and basically I edit as I receive their feedback directly in the document. I don't have second or third separate drafts because of this, really. I compile all my cutscenes and chapters into my notes folder on Scrivener. <laughs> this way I don't delete anything, and as it happens, I do usually go back into my notes and I end up resurrecting a lot of cut sections, and I move them around in my project depending on the feedback that I get. With this current revision, I actually took a lot of what I wrote before from the very, very, very first draft, and I revised and edited it back into different parts so that it actually makes sense. <laughs> There's something that I really, really love about critique partners and beta readers, is, and that that's that they see things in my manuscript that I don't, or if one of them comments, you need a scene here that does this, then I can actually go, aha, <laughs> and pull out a previous version of that scene and actually make it work. Usually when editing, I focus on big picture items first, such as plot and through lines, starting with my main character and then moving on to their romantic interests and then Moving on from there to the side characters and the villains, one thing I've noticed in particular while editing is to tie each chapter together with the big picture, but also make sure each chapter stands alone in its own story within the larger book. It's been super super helpful since I have my main character's motivations and a good picture of where I want them to end up. And then to see what I can do in the individual chapters to advance them in the story further. Making every chapter count and every chapter move the story and characters forward has been pretty challenging, but when you're able to bounce ideas off your critique partners who are a lot more knowledgeable than you in a lot of areas, you learn so much. Most of my editing process is mainly a learning process more than anything. Learning what's not working, learning how to fix it, learning how to take criticism and feedback, and then, of course, learning how to apply all of that. Also, learning how to edit. That's a big thing. <laughs> I don't know if it's just where I'm at in my editing process or my writing process and experience as a whole, but I feel like I generally rely on other people's opinions and feedback before I really make any big changes to the draft I'm working with. That might change as I write more books, as I get further into revising this book, but who knows? My editing process has resulted in a lot of trial and error, I think, both for my books and how I figure out my stories and characters and everything, and this probably won't be true for everyone. I've looked up a lot of editing guides and revision tips, such as from author Susan Denard, a lot I've learned from Twitter and other spaces, and honestly I've seen a lot of conflicting advice, and I just pulled which pieces work best for me. One of my goals with this draft before submitting to Pitch Wars is to make sure all the scenes line up in terms of plot and character, etc. 
which I'm probably going to use Susan Denard's um, method for, so stay tuned for that. Editing and revising is a lot of work, and it's so easy to become overwhelmed by the amount of work that you need to put in the beginning. And honestly, I never thought I'd get this far into my current manuscript, but I have. And honestly, that's the silver lining if you're about to start editing and revising, or if you're afraid that... At a certain point, you're able to look back and say, wow, <laughs> without doing this and without writing this, I never would have gotten to the point to where I am today. So there's an upside to all the long hours of editing and revising, at least. That's good. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you have any questions about editing and revising too, I'd love to answer them in the future. And maybe even try and make more videos on the kinds of editing that writers can do, the types of editing that there are for you to do. Thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you all next time. Bye!